All right, ladies and gentlemen, new data set. I'm here with my brother, Jordan Welch. We are in Miami. Thank you for uh, holding the camera, brother. Yes, I appreciate that. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to talk to you about Ramadan, yeah. okay? I've been getting a lot of people, Jordan, in my DMs being like, dude, you know, I am a lover of God, but you know, through this Ramadan, I am having a hard time. Ramadan, for those people that don't know, is a month in the Muslim religion where it is believed that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received, right, the word of God, and that is the birth of Islam as you know it today. And it is in the month of Ramadan that people fast from food and drinking and abstain from sex and things of this nature and these pleasures to focus on God. But many times, like the Quran states, a lot of people only get from fasting, hunger, and thirst. That is all that they get, brother. And for those that pray at night, all that they get is being awake. So the question is, for those people that are going through this time, right? Not just a physical fast, but a spiritual fast, is what are you learning? And a lot of people in my DMs are learning that their vessels are weak. Their vessels need work because the moment fasting comes in, the moment a little bit of hardship and tribulation comes in, they crumble. They are weak in spirit. They are weak in mind and weak in heart and weak in body. The Bible says it. The Bible says that the body is what? The temple of God, of the spirit of God. And he who destroys the temple, God will destroy him. Why? Because, and it continues to say that the body does not belong to you, but it belongs to God. So if your body belongs to God and the body is what God uses to manifest his glory through you, right? Because if you're trying to be a man of God, you want God to use you, right? You don't want to impose your way if he knows better. You just want to do the work and allow him to guide and lead. Isn't that a better life? If you believe that there's a designer and a creator of all, wouldn't you be an absolute fool to not count on him? Yet in these periods of feasting and fasting, especially in the periods of fasting, all we're focused on is the pleasure. Like what we're lacking, what we're missing. It's unbelievable. So to those people with weak vessels, I tell you, it's time to refine things. I get a lot of DMs, people being like, you know, my family, when they break Ramadan, they're breaking it with high fructose corn syrup and processed sugars and sodas. That's not the way. Read the Quran. It says, break it with dates and with water. That's how you must break your fast. Why? Because it is pure. So you fast all day, thinking about eating and thinking about drinking, and at night you break your fast with that which you're trying to run away from. It makes no sense. So when you think about Ramadan, you can't just be thinking about food and water. It is beyond that. That is merely a representation and a manifestation in the three-dimensional realm of what it is to be a person that is in tune with their spirit and in tune with God. So much so that they don't need food because food isn't in them. Imagine, bro, being in such a primal state that all you think about is your stomach. It's unbelievable. So ladies and gentlemen, be strong. And to those that are strong, encourage your fellow friends and your fellow brothers and sisters. And by the way, I had another data set, Jordan. Tell me. I'm gonna be participating in Ramadan starting tomorrow because I just, it, I sound super hypocritical talking about. What time did you eat today? At about 2 p.m. Right, and you're telling people how they should do their Ramadan. It's, it's wrong, it's hypocritical of me and I should be putting into practice the spiritual understanding that I know because to know is not enough you must do, you must put into practice. So we lead by example. Uh, so I'm joining you guys with Ramadan. It's gonna be a great time. I start tomorrow. And we are going to learn that there are seasons for feasting and seasons for fasting. In the seasons of feasting, you must understand that it is a time for preparation for you to become strong. So that then the times when you become weak and when there's fasting, you can resist and you can be strong. That is the lesson, that is the truth. At least uh, that's the data set.